Hi, welcome back to episode 12 of the GGBO 2022 build. And in this episode, we're going to install the kerf linings that we made last time. Okay, so in the last episode, we got all this kerfing cut. And we can set about getting this body lined out with it. But before I do that, it occurs to me that in the last episode, I didn't show you the results of actually gluing all of this together. I mean, obviously we can see it is now one piece, but the important bit is how well these little joints came together on the horns. So I'll bring you in for a close up and you can have a look for yourself. Now I tried to get some video of this, but it wasn't particularly easy. So I took some stills instead and hopefully they'll show that all the joints on the horns actually turned out really, really tight. And I don't think there's gonna be any need to do anything else with them other than to get them sanded and get some finish onto them. So got to be happy with the results there. Okay, so on with the kerfing and I need to get this back into its body mold because I actually want it to be as close to the shape that I designed as possible. So to further aid that, I've cut some little wooden sticks that I can just use to again, force those ribs out to the sides of the mold. Do that on both sides. And then hopefully when we've got those curved linings on, it should hold nicely to that shape. And the trick with these is very straightforward. Literally I'm gonna take a bunch of them and just glue them into position around the edge like that. And to hold them in place while the glue dries, we've got another high tech tool, clothes pin with an elastic band wrap around it. But these will supply enough clamping pressure to hold the kerfing in place properly. So without further ado, we'll break out the tight bond and start getting these glued in. Okay, so this has had a good few hours to dry up now. So we'll get all the pegs off and we'll see how we've done. It's not unusual for there to be a few little bits and pieces on these that need a little bit of extra attention, but hopefully it's all gone down quite nicely. Okay, and that's all gone down very nicely. There's one little gap there that I'm gonna to need to fill in. There's a couple of bits that are a little bit proud of the top. But other than that, got to be really happy with that. Okay. 
Okay, so with that cleaned up, we can now take this out of the mold. We need to flip the mold over again so we can get this in the other way and get the kerfing fitted to the other side. And you can probably see that has increased the strength significantly on that, which is brilliant. Right, let's get this mold stripped down. second half's had all afternoon to dry so we should be good to go so we'll get these clamps off see what it looks like and again that's gone absolutely lovely there's very little I need to do with that I think there's one there that might need a little bit of love and I think a very quick with over with the plane has got that down to where it needs to be so very very happy with that so we can get this out of the mould now probably see that is a lot more rigid now much happier that that will probably a it's not going to move so we're not going to lose the shape and b should anything untoward happen it probably would survive where it might not have done before so with that done we can actually put this to one side for a little while and start work on the back and the top but i'm going to do that in the next episode so i'll leave this one here as always don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you have got any other builds that you want to give a bit of exposure to, don't forget to drop those into the comments as well. And I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.